Hello, today's topic is, uh, video topic is uh, more about inguinal hernia. Inguinal hernia or groin hernia uh, is a very common hernia. Of all the hernias, it is the salivary percentage is inguinal hernia. And of all the uh, inguinal hernias, 90% 90 per, 90 of the time it happens in the male. Females can happen, it's only less than 10 percentage. And uh, uh, to know about more about inguinal hernia, first we should know uh, uh, the anatomy and uh, the embryology. Uh, the reason is uh, usually inguinal hernia happens in the male yeah, because see the testes uh, uh, where, uh, during the pregnancy time, the testes the, of the baby is usually within the abdomen, very close to the kidney. As the pregnancy progresses, the testes starts descending and it descends uh, by ninth month, it almost uh, uh, eighth ninth month, it reaches the groin area that's called inguinal canal and it travels through the inguinal canal and descends into the scrotum uh, more, mostly just one or two days uh, prior to the birth so that is why some child, male child born with uh, one scrotum and uh, the, after two three days the other scrotum also will come down this is a very common scenario usually the canal uh, 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 closes on its own as the baby uh, child grows Maybe third month, the, uh, uh, it completely closes. For some reason, it opens again. It can happen uh, the, uh, ch the, uh, by the birth time itself or by 40 years, 70 years at any time. This canal, when it opens, the intestines, especially the small intestine, which is moving freely inside the abdomen, it can descend into the scrotum, uh, uh, descend through the canal and they got into the scrotum. So this is called inguinal canal. In females, uh, though the ovary is not descending out, for some reasons they may also get, but it's very, 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 very meager uh, number of uh, patients will get, female patients will get inguinal hernia. Uh, as I told you, whenever the, in, uh, why it happens generally, inguinal hernia, uh, whenever the intra-abdominal pressure increases, like weightlifting, cough, or maybe constipation, prostate problem, uh, or those who are doing very, you know, heavy lab laborious work, weightlifters, you know, uh, the intra-abdominal pressure increases and the canal can open up and through which the intestine can descend down. And this is something like, uh, uh, as we uh, uh, discussed earlier, when a shirt is torn, like your inner wear is coming out. The same way your muscles are torn and through which the intestine is coming out. When the uh, shirt is torn, it has to be stitched. That is the, uh, uh, that's the only way you know you can treat the inguinal hernia. People uh, think you know, by doing exercise or yoga, uh, the hernia can be cured. No, it cannot be. In fact, these can, they, uh, uh, yoga and uh, uh, exercise can aggravate the problem. So, uh, even after the surgery, they have to uh, uh, follow certain um, precautions like not sitting on the floor, no bending, avoid constipation, sneezing, cough, asthma, all these things they should avoid, especially weight lifting. You know, uh, uh, these things should be avoided even after the surgery, at least for two to three months, or preferably six months, uh, to prevent uh, the recurrence. Because hernia is not a disease, it's a defect. So when the defect is closed by an artificial mesh, there is every likely chance for recurrence. The usual the recurrence rate is 0.3 to uh, 3 percentage. Nowadays, through the advent of laparoscopic surgery, the recurrence rate has come down. And most of the people, uh, most of the male, uh, think about you know uh, when uh, my intestine descends down into the scrotum, uh, they think uh, you know uh, about the infertility, erectile dysfunction. Generally, hernia cannot cause infertility and erectile dysfunction. And even after the surgery, uh, the laparoscopic surgery, none of the vessels or nerves are touched by the uh, surgeons. Even the mesh is placed in the proper way. So, uh, the infertility or erectile dysfunction cannot happen after the uh, uh, inguinal canal surgery. And is there any way uh, we know that I will get, my father had the inguinal hernia, whether I will get inguinal hernia, there is no way to, you can predict. But if at all, uh, 
you are in a, a obese and if your job or maybe your activity is like you know very strenuous and you know then you can take some precautions to avoid uh, getting hernia but when a hernia comes no, I think uh, we don't have to panic and uh, you know uh, earlier the uh, better like you know uh, once you get the hernia you cannot avoid the surgery so earlier the better so you can uh, approach uh, any surgeon they can do a uh, base you uh, what type of uh, surgery suitable for you what type of mesh and all things they can tell you and they can uh, uh, do a, uh, uh, can cure the hernia for you thank you